Well, many people in Hawaii love to work in the yard, but did you know gardening is more than just taking care of your plants? Do you know how to keep chemicals out of storm drains and how some insects can actually be beneficial? Diane Moses with the Board of Water Supply is here to talk about a class that will teach all of the above. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Talk about the class and what people can learn from it. Well, actually, they're, they're going to be learning how to identify or good bugs from the bad bugs. Um, we're not going to touch base on all of them, mm -hmm. but they'll learn what not to kill and how to deter bad bugs instead of killing them because they all have their place. And you brought some that you just kind of gathered from last mm -hmm. night. You brought one friend and the rest not so friendly, <laughs> right. right? Can you explain which ones? Okay, this is white fly, which is driving everyone crazy about now. And we have a snail and a slug here. They mm -hmm. can eat your plant overnight. A slug actually has 2,500 feet. Look at that slug. Oh. Okay. The slug, yeah. And um, they can have up to 90,000 grandchildren in their lifetime. Wow. That's a lot of multiplying. And in this one, we have, a, I think it's one of the prettiest not so friendly insects is the cottony scale mm -hmm. and we have a black um, lady beetle in here if she decides to come out I can't see is it small it's really tiny here okay. she's back here oh it's almost like it's you, you can see it looks like a ladybug it, yeah yeah okay and they're and they're um, the dark blue lady beetle mm -hmm. people often mistaken them for the baby stink bugs and so they end up killing them when they're actually helpful. Very helpful. Okay. Yes. And this one? That one is um, hard scale or armored scale. Mm -hmm. It's the same as this one, except this one has a nice fluffy cover on it. Is it in the leaf? It's right just there? on the leaf, those bubbles on top of the where the vein oh, okay, is. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And that's not a friend either? No. Not a friend. No, no, okay. no. All of these will suck the sap out of your plants. And, you know, because of the cool weather, not a lot of the ones that we usually see cockroaches are out, but this white fly, you say, can it's be crazy. a nuisance. It's crazy. Yep, yep. Can you talk about uh, how? Um, how? We can tell you how to minimize the infestation. Mm -hmm. There's really nothing out there that's going to get rid of them, but a s they're attracted to yellow, a little bit of Vaseline, and you just salve it on the Both leaf, side, the, flower, the, okay. the yellow flower, uh -huh. and it doesn't cost you anything to do this paper clip, hang it in your tree, mm -hmm. and the yellow flies are attracted to the yellow, they get stuck in the Vaseline, oh. and it will slow your population down. The best way to do, um, to not invite white flies into your garden is to not plant things that they're attracted to, such as broad leaves. They love hibiscus leaves, unfortunately, oh. and um, irises, mm -hmm. and citrus. And so by not planting those, you won't be inviting them in. So you have a hibiscus uh, tree. How many of these would you put up? Maybe about four or five, depending on the size. But the first thing I do, if you ever want to know what's going on or living in your garden, is to check the undersides of leaves. Mm -hmm. the, all the bugs live there where it's nice and protected. So by turning leaves over here and there, you'll know what you have. When you see them, living on your leaves like that, just pluck all of those leaves off and throw them away. Okay. Put them in a plastic bag, tie it up tight, trash it. Do not throw them on the ground. Mm -hmm. They'll just go and fly somewhere else. Yep. Scattered. Okay. Yep. And again, this class is this Wednesday, right. and it's uh, just a couple hours from 10.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. to noon, mm -hmm. and it's free for members. It's free for members mm -hmm. and $5 to everyone else. Mm -hmm. I do want to let them know that they can bring in a sample of whatever's plaguing them in their yards, and we'll try and identify it as part of the class. Okay. What they'd like to do is put it in a baggie, yeah. seal it up. Make sure it's sealed tight. Sealed tight, right? yes. Okay. Thanks, Diane, for being Thank here. Thank you. Have a good week. <laughs> Thank you.